the next thing I want to do is I want to show you um, some nice, uh, so some special matrices that have a nice determinant. So if you were to take the matrix A, uh, which is say a diagonal matrix, so let's say two, uh, zero, zero, uh, oops, zero, three, zero, 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 four. And then if you were to expand along really any row or any column, it's not going to matter. But if you want to find the determinant, the determinant of A is going to be, let's just expand along the first row. It's going to be two times the determinant of uh, three, zero, zero, four, minus zero times whatever determinant, so of zero, 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 four, plus zero times the determinant of zero, three, zero, zero. So we're going to get minus zero plus zero. I don't care what this, I don't care what the cofactors are because we're multiplying them by zero. And it turns out that this is going to be two times, let's say the determinant of three, zero, zero, four is three times four. And so what happens in general, you can hopefully already see the pattern. What happens in general is that if you have a diagonal matrix, the determinant is just going to be the product of those terms along the diagonal. So the determinant of A is going to be 24. And now that you know this trick, you can look at A and figure out its determinant right away. There's really not much work to be done. You don't have to write this down. The same trick is going to work if you have what's called a triangular matrix. A triangular matrix is one where you have the lower triangle. So let's say that the matrix is this. So we have the matrix 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 1, 0, 0, 3. So that's triangular. Um, and the idea is that all of the informations in this upper triangle here and this lower triangle is zero. Um, so that's a triangular matrix. That's so called an upper triangular matrix. And then there's also uh, the corresponding idea of a lower triangular matrix. So you could also have, let's call it something different just because we're in this example here. Uh, we could have um, whatever, negative two, zero, zero, uh, one, um, three, zero, and then zero, zero, four. And so notice that I have zeros in the bottom triangle. That's fine. It's not a lower triangular matrix. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not a, a diagonal matrix because I have a off diagonal term that's non-zero. Um, it is a lower triangular matrix because all the information's in the lower triangle. Um, it's not an upper triangular matrix because outside of that triangle, there's a non-zero term. Okay, so this is the fact that there's zeros here doesn't really bother us. All that we care about is that above the main diagonal are zeros. That makes it a lower triangular matrix. And it turns out that if you want to find the determinant of a triangular matrix, you again just take the product of the terms on the diagonal. So the determinant of A would be 12. The determinant of B would be negative 2 times 3 times 4, so negative 24. And so again, you can just take the product along the diagonal. Whenever you have a diagonal matrix uh, or a triangular matrix. So when I say triangular, I mean either lower triangular or upper triangular. But in any case, if you have a triangular matrix or a diagonal matrix, you can just take the product of the terms on the main diagonal to get the determinant.